All right, everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan, and I'm going to be doing something a little different than normal. Uh, normally, you know, because now that I don't do political videos anymore, you know, I just, uh, you know, because now I'm making the game, so I got to be a little, you know, I got to be a lot more clean, right? Uh, but, you know, uh, there's not a lot of news going on today in terms of Bitcoin. And on top of that, something rather interesting happened yesterday, just as I was starting to unfollow all the people on my Twitter that just don't ever like or retweet my stuff anyway. Uh, and I'll get to that in a second. But, um, yeah, <clears throat> I was just doing, like, normal posting, right, because nobody ever pays attention to me and shit, you know, which is fine. Uh, and then uh, Mindy Robinson surprisingly, like, replied to one of my things. So, uh, long story short, now the simps... Because I don't actually have too much of a problem with Mindy Robinson. Like, when I still was doing political videos a couple of months ago, she was attacking the Gripers. So I made sure to, you know, do a video, you know, attacking Mindy in that particular case. But for the most part, I really just don't care that much, right? Uh, but with that being said, uh, the Sips or Beta Male Orbiters, for those of you who used to read Hartisti, or uh, Hartisti, uh, are actually uh, really starting to annoy me, right? I mean, no judgment or anger. Maybe there is a little judgment. I don't know. But I just know that I should actually do a video on this because I thought about it yesterday, and then it's like, yeah, you know what? I'll let it go. And then today when I wake up, there was this stupid fucking asshole that said, fake news, delete, delete, delete. And, and then that was like, okay, that's it. You know, you, you're, uh... So I immediately blocked and reported his fake ass account. So anyway, time to go on the offensive because I don't like it when people say don't talk about this. And then number two, I don't like it when people say don't talk about this and stop lying. Then I actually get very annoyed. So this, so I actually retweeted this. This one you actually see a little, I mean, it's not, <clears throat> nothing violent, but you never know on YouTube, right? These, these stupid simp fucks are probably going to report my video, right? Which is... Like, I'm going to post this video on YouTube as well, so I'm not going to play this clip, but you see Mindy Robinson having a kind of like half playful headlock or something like that with some griper guy, right? Has him around in like a, what is it? Oh, a chokehold. Yeah, in a chokehold. And then he she lets him go, right? She definitely looked a little drunk and like wanted to like sleep with someone, right? I don't even, see, the thing is we can't be on the dissonant website that I got this info from that, uh aggregated all the all the interesting periscopes but apparently she was also trying to hit on ethan ralph and then ethan ralph said i'm married and then she got then mindy robinson mm -hmm. got mad right because you know the lust was overtaking her like mindy is obviously a very fallen person like most people so uh so that ha so so that's what this whole thing started and then this and then this woman over here immediately launched into like i guess a retaliation attack into mindy and they started getting a scuffle and then all the gripers that were recorded it's like e-girl fight e-girl fight <clears throat> so she's soaking up all the attention stuff too and that's the other thing too like this is why you don't want uh you know women to constantly hog the attention because this dumb shit always happens and then we men have to clean this bullshit up so anyway here's uh the woman's uh post where she said mindy like tore her hair out right uh, I didn't actually see it in this particular clip, but you could definitely see the, like, the uh, attack by Mindy and then the counterattack by this woman. And then they're now trying to say that, you know, Mindy was innocent. Uh, and then that's where she said, I defend myself from blah, 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 blah. Uh, here's, uh, I guess we could. <laughs> so nothing much here happened, but, like, the cops could come in, kick her out, essentially, question her. Mindy, do you have anything to say to Twitter? Did you choke somebody out? What happened, Mindy? Mindy, why did you choke that girl out? Can you please back up, sir? Yes, ma'am, I can. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, no. Okay, I'm a reporter, by. So everyone's starting to get annoyed with everyone. Great, it's my job. You're on my property. All right, well, I'm about to leave. Can I leave? Thank you. There's no violence here, obviously, so I can play this. <laughs> so so right here i thought she was arrested because she has her hands behind her back like in the way that you would if you were arrested but it actually turns out she's not yeah so that's why i said getting actually arrested right because because i just saw this and then i was like okay yeah because it was also another shitty seven minute video which is 
this one over here where it's just like these guys just laughing at Mindy, right? But there's a, nothing actually happens, and this is the one that Mindy responds to. So we'll just, we'll just compl uh, play to completion. See, I really thought she got arrested because everyone's cheering. It's like, huh. All right, so now everyone's laughing at her. Oh, and everyone's saying thought patrol. All right, see, and, and then she moves her arms, right? Because now she she's not actually arrested, but it looked like she was. Yeah. So basically, she was basically going into non Groiper territory after CPAC or TPOSA or whatever. Because obviously, I'm here at home. I don't give a shit about CPAC, right? Also, I don't like traveling. So anyway, she goes in a known area to obviously agitate and then like you know get some drama going, right? And then obviously it does happen, and then she's now playing the victim. So you know, it's actually a pretty smart move on her part, but it is done from a uh, falling perspective and not for the right reasons. So. Uh, that's why it's not cool. So anyway, um, so Mindy knows to not retweet like these things because this is actually what makes her look like the bad, bad girl, bad guy, which is actually the stance I have. Uh, but obviously this is a pretty shitty video, right? Because I didn't know I didn't bother watching this whole thing. It's just seven and a half minutes of this guy. We're live. Uh, basically just. I mean, there's actually nothing that happens. Just this guy, whatever. Uh, actually, before we go to the replies, uh, Kelly Sarah tore her head off like that. Really, what? What did she talk about? Mike Cernovich was not here. I don't know. I think they were just making fun of Mike Cernovich here. Won't be the last e hole thrown in the slab. Best time ever. And wow, my God, I can't listen to that rule, Ralph. Blah 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 blah. All right, this is the year of the boys. That is true. So anyway, she replies, all right, you yeah, know, I went home in an Uber. He admitted to the cop. He tried to instigate something the night before as well. They hated me. I didn't know who, who they were. Why would I start something? That's actually kind of a lie. Uh, I did reply to her eventually. It said, um, I remain suspicious, but I'll retweet her reply, which I did. For some reason, it's not here anymore. Um, but I know she's lying now, so... Anyway, uh, the whole point of this video is look at all these. I say I can't use the word that I really want to use, right? But these simp losers. So we'll use simp, right? Look at all these simp losers. They're mostly men, right? You know, they're trying to get in her pants, and then it's just like, look how like like they're definitely a closet. Uh, well, they're not into women. I'll leave it at that. These men are not into women. All right, they're definitely uh, keeping uh, closeted. I'm not going to read the whole thing because I do want to keep this video short, but you can pause it and read these simp comments. Like, I never understood why Nick Fuentes had a um, no simp rule. Now I see personally the reason why. Show more replies. My God, this thing has more replies. That's right. And I still have more replies. Well, actually, this could be from the retweets. Uh, this guy is definitely a huge simp, right? Some of these are also fake accounts, but a lot of them are also real, uh, uh, real, uh, real people. Uh, blah, 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 you didn't deserve what happened, or sex for you goes daily. Like, look, these are mostly, like, middle-aged men, the old boomer men, and this is why I don't like boomers, right? That's why I'm, like, actively trying to alienate them, all right? You know, I'm not doing a good enough job because I only lost, like, one person yesterday right you know but you know i did say you know gold is stupid right boomers are sad so that's why i'm being a lot more aggressive because this is exactly the kind of dumb shit that happens right and then look at how many replies and of course these stupid fucking assholes they're not interested in the truth right they could have easily go to my profile and look at the clear evidence that she's lying right which i retweeted but they don't even bother clicking all right so i'm just going to see how many of them did click Right, and none of them liked it, none of them retweeted it. Uh, view all engagements. A uh, hundred people clicked. Okay, so a lot of people are clicking and they're not liking retweeting this either. And it's like, start like, this is just very annoying. Right, nobody wants the truth, instead, they want to get in her pants. Right, it's like, 
this is this is exactly the problem. It's a self reinforcing negative feedback loop, <clears throat> right? Because they want to get in her pants because they're these are fallen people, and a lot of them are actually Christian or uh, military veterans. All right, this thing got 104 likes, and this was only a reply. So they're just specifically going to Mindy's Twitter profile and hitting the tweets and replies. Uh, it's so disgusting. <clears throat> Uh, because I'm gonna hit the likes button so we can see all the simp losers. Let me make sure this is safe. Uh, yeah, this is good. All right. Uh, Brave browser. Right. So God bless America. Politically homeless. So these are all the losers that liked uh, Mindy's thing over here. Old and blah. So you have a couple of old boomer women here too. You think they are America first? Blah blah blah. Build the wall. Like this is why we actually cannot get anything done because these simp's are actually just liars they're all basically liars because if they were all uh, about the truth they should have been retweeting all my shit this whole time but they don't and number two they're simping for a uh, porn star <clears throat> which is that's technically not fine but you know whatever i have no judgment about it right but it's not healthy and some a lot of these people are also married like what's like what is the matter with you right so <sighs> So I've been so it wasn't until this happened that I realized many things. I also now realize why the Republican Party is such a piece of shit. It's because there's a large segment of so-called Republicans, like these loser simps, that are actually part of the problem. These people are all part of the problem. They should not be supporting this liar, all right? And they should not be supporting uh, this lifestyle. They shouldn't be. I guess being overly judgmental about it, right? I mean, you shouldn't be judging. But on the other hand, you shouldn't be promoting it either. Because Mindy's going to continue this behavior because she clearly sees that she's getting a lot of positive reinforcement. Like, that, that's why. Like, simps are a problem. Uh, so now I have to figure out, like, how are we going to deal with simps? Like, I mean, you can't really punish women, even though you could try. I don't think that'll work. But we should definitely punish men for simping um or regulating it or something just something uh we've got a peppy the frog he shouldn't even, he doesn't have the honor of doing that then we got another proud so-called american like this is the vast majority of my followers on twitter too so it's it's little wonder that i've got i've run into problems uh so he's also followed by mindy so some of this is yeah, a lot of these are also fake accounts too, right? You know, Christian, you know, not politically correct. You know, he also, whatever, dem exit, blah, blah, blah. Like, just look at all these simps, and it's just like, all right, like, we, we got to do something about it. Uh, and also a lot of army people for some reason too. Um, oh, he liked this too. I'm glad I unfollowed this stupid loser. Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing too, like, even though the people are verified, I don't really give a shit anymore. All right, if like unless they're very high value people, all right. So at least it increases the social status of my stupid Twitter profile, or I happen to know that they we talk, or at least they like and retweet my stuff regularly, and uh, I know for a fact, and or or they're like you know you know pro actual America first, pro Groiper. Yeah, but for the most part, I, I imagine. Once I'm done with my unfollows, I'll probably have like two, three hundred uh, follows. So it'll at least make my Twitter profile look like something you take uh, more seriously. Because this is just ridiculous. Christian, conservative, single. Yeah, of course you're going to simp for a uh, porn star. And yeah. So it's mostly, so it's like 25% women and then the rest are men. And the rest are fake accounts. I mean, just look at, like, what the hell is, what, like, seriously, this is your profile picture, really? Can't, see, I can't, 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 because we're playing on YouTube, but I think you all know the G word or the F word I want to use, and I don't mean the word fuck. So, yeah. So, anyway, this is all these losers. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of hard to really blame Mindy when she's got all these losers, like, supporting her, right? If it weren't for these losers, there would be no Mindy Robinson, and she wouldn't be behaving this way. So, uh, yeah, like you're not supposed to attack people, but in my case, uh, I actually will. If you're, if a bunch of people, first of all, when, when people in Sodom and Gomorrah were like doing pedo bear and raping each other, like, do you think God gave a damn? <laughs> no, and neither will I. All right. If a bunch of people are doing evil shit, like I see here and lying about it, 
right? Because that's really what makes it evil. And then telling me not to expose it and to delete my shit, yeah, you know, what do you think's going to fucking happen? Or I'm going to call you out on it. All right, so anyway, we kind of want a thumbnail, so um, I think I'm going to probably go with this. Uh, yeah, we'll go with this one. So we'll leave that for over there. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna blast this shit out, right? I want I want all these simp losers to be put on notice, and on top of that, any simps that are following me, I want them to unfollow me so I can have an easier time unfollowing them. All right. So anyway, uh, that's the uh, I guess uh, bonus political shit for all you political people. So now I'm gonna get into the more boring stuff that really should not be boring because you know money is important. Uh, the Bitcoin stuff, and then we'll uh, and then I'll go do my thing because I still kind of want to relax because I'm almost done today we'll probably I'll be able to finish my programming course but I am so sick and tired of just learning like the same stuff essentially but still not knowing right it's like I'm in that weird zone so I just want to start making my game but you know after this uh, I've got one more course to do which is the city bu city building portion and then uh, it's off to the you know it's off to meet destiny <laughs> Not 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 Brent Boswell, but like you know the, the destiny that God has for me. So anyway, Bitcoin has uh, risen a little bit last week to twelve, right? There's a little bit of extra interest. Um, crypto is still pretty stable. In fact, the uh, trade volume has actually decreased, so people are very exhausted. Twenty-four hour volume is at one twenty-seven point four billion. Bitcoin dominance is at sixty-three point nine percent. Uh, Bitcoin's at 85.93, Litecoin's at 58.86, so pretty stable for the most part. Bitcoin SV is a little up today, all right? Mm, excuse me. But for the most part, everything looks like it's flatline or going up a little bit here and there. Uh, Dog coins at 278.5 million market cap. And Steam. I actually wanted to pick up some more Steam, but the problem is Steam yesterday went up 13%. So I'm waiting for it to get a little cheaper because because Steam's getting more expensive, but everything else is not getting more expensive. So I get less Steam. So I'd rather just wait because I know Litecoin's eventually going to surpass Steam anyway. So I'd rather just do that. Eighteen point sixty five uh, cents. Oh yeah, I've been building up my Steam. So um, I, mean, I don't have a lot now, but it's actually uh, multiplying quite nicely, especially since it's so cheap. Uh, we don't care about this. JFC coins at three to four, so not a whole lot of action, but still a decent trade volume. So uh, the big surprise is actually 404 coin, so it's finally going up somewhat. I don't want to go back, but someone went as high as eight, right? So it was a lot of trade volume, it was like $450. If you look back here, all right, you know, a uh, lot, lot of buys mostly, not, not, not too many selling, but a lot of buys. So. At least 404 is catching a kind of breather, right? But it, that's what's going to happen before it gets clobbered. Uh, looks like 2x2 two two coin went as high as 72, so that's pretty nice too. Because this is also up like $350 in trade value. <clears throat> so wh so whoever it is, people are you know uh, stockpiling a little bit on these cryptos, so that's pretty nice for us. It, it's nice to have a little breather. Uh, compound coin was the big surprise. This thing actually went up a lot too last night. Well, it's, now it's at 6,000 to 10,000. Uh, as you can see, it's straight line up. And according to this, it was 290.74 million uh, compound coins. So I don't expect, so I think it was just some rich guy looking to like park his money somewhere. Um, and then I'm fully expecting this to not really last, but we'll have to see because I already looked, before I started this video, I looked at the headlines. There's there's just nothing happening. So I think it's just, you know, again, uh, a short term thing. All right. Rich people, some rich guy is just like, yeah, you know, we'll, uh, we'll uh, just, you know, pick up these shitty coins and then uh, we'll dump them later. So that's kind of like what I'm expecting. Uh, so anyway. Um, Again, not a whole lot. There's no real news. So, uh, and actually, the real news was really just that. So, basically, yeah, everyone's exhausted. Um, so, I guess we'll have to wait till either tonight or tomorrow to see what happens. But uh, I haven't heard too much more crazy stuff about coronavirus. I think one person supposedly has died in America. Um, let me see. Coronavirus. Uh, Korea seeks murder ink. What? Uh, coronavirus cases 71 in the West Coast. Coronavirus to test small business optimism. 
12 more cases and you confirmed in England, coronavirus. Oh, yeah, what you don't see is calls for the shut down the borders because Russia shut down their borders. They have not had any new corona cases at all. And the two people that were infected and that were quarantined, they're now actually better. And I assume they're going to either uh, be allowed to do their business in Russia or they'll probably go back home because they're both from China. So, uh, but no, notice that you don't, whatever. No, you do not need face masks for coronavirus. They might increase your blank. Oh, yeah. So everybody was panicking about face masks. Now the Surgeon General himself actually put out a tweet that says, stop buying masks. It doesn't help. It doesn't stop coronavirus at all. And it's actually going to drain the surgical masks needed for actual doctors who will be put at risk. Uh, let me actually get that tweet because uh, I know I retweeted it, but uh let me see all right so we're done with the simping uh losers uh let me see i know i have it here um oh yeah there's my reply for fairness i'll retweet it oh yeah all these simp uh oh yeah i almost said the word you can't say on youtube anymore most they didn't even bother looking at it they just, want, they just want to reply to her and hope that they'll she'll sleep with them like look at the numbers it's like so stupid uh nobody cares about the truth and i don't like that where's the surgeon general um oh my god i must i must have went over it um oh yeah it's right here so seriously people stop by masks this is the actual u.s surgeon general uh vice admiral jerome adams he's actually a three-star general uh they are not effective in preventing the general public from catching coronavirus but if healthcare providers can't get them to care for sick patients, it puts them in our communities at risk. Because don't forget, there's other diseases and viruses out there too. So, uh, so what's funny is all those people buying the masks for five thousand uh, dollars on eBay. Now it's going to start crashing. Yeah. So uh, now we can see that the fake news people are now starting to say, "Stop buying masks." Right? Here's a Forbes article. I mean, that is actually the responsible thing to do. All right? Because you know, the vice admiral is like basically the chief medical officer of like the United States. So if anybody knows anything about like medical shit, it's going to be the the surgeon general. OK, <laughs> they don't just pick a random guy or gal to be surgeon general. Um, they have a Trump hit piece. Uh, who chief says markets should calm down. Australia Thailand report uh, their first deaths. That is actually true. I do actually agree. You should stop uh, panicking, right? But do be concerned and stock up because I already stocked up. You know, I've got, obviously I'm re relying on the fact that electricity will still work. Yeah, I mean, electricity is not that hard. I mean, it's the year 2020. Like it's very, we've perfected our electricity systems with redundancy. So we'll have plenty of fuel so I can still cook, right? But I've got like at least two weeks worth of food, probably like three to four weeks, right? You know, so, and since I'm still slimming down, you know, I can't eat that much food anyway, all right? Because the past few days, I was actually probably overeating. That's why I was getting so much inflammation all of a sudden. Now, now it's all better. So, uh, it's okay for local schools to shut down over the coronavirus. Yes, uh, that's actually good for us because schools are indoctrination centers. So, you know, that means the kids will be free. They'll have be able to relax and they'll be with their families, right? Whether their parents or their guardians. And that's a good, good thing for us. You know, plus, yeah, it is actually a coronavirus risk too. So yeah, just just because Japan's already shutting down uh schools for like a month. So yeah, but for the most part, nothing really overly crazy. So anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my uh I almost said bit shoots. Ah, it's so annoying having to constantly switch back and forth. My YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so that you can actually get some truth for once, right? Assuming you actually care about the truth. And like the simp losers over here. Uh, oh, yeah, I already went past it, but whatever, right? No, and I have three retweets. It looks like uh, maybe we've got something going, but I don't really care. So I just want to end this video. So uh, yes, there's that there's that nice, hilarious little grin that I have. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Let's uh, let's hope we get some more action in cryptocurrency land. But it, again, I think everyone's just so emotionally drained from all the panic uh, that maybe we might actually get some good bullish activity tomorrow, right? Because people are buying a lot of this shit, right? JMC, 404, and 2x2. Two two. 
Uh, so maybe that might be an indicator of things to come. But again, things are very volatile. I'm still in a buying mood. Unless, of course, things start going up a lot again. Then, of course, I'm not going to be really buying that much. I mean, I might still have to buy Steam, but yeah. Well, well. Anyway, Tristory, day or night, uh, stop buying masks. As the Surgeon General himself said, uh, don't do it. It's worthless, essentially. Uh, and doctors and nurses actually need them. Uh, and plus, you save your money, too. It's uh, People are starting to price gouge anyway. So it's a scam. It's all just a scam. And, um, yeah, just uh, just be mindful of fallen people and liars, right? Because right now there's a lot of lying activity going on. Oh, and uh, we need to start coming up with the anti-simp rule. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do it, but, you know, it's on, it's, on, it's on the list of things to do. All right, see you all tomorrow. Thanks. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and, uh, yeah. So this is mostly more of a political video, but we did a little bit of Bitcoin stuff towards the end, so. Yeah, here's the here's the thumbnail.